Hi fellow retro gamers. Have you been collecting Game Boys and retro games for quite a while, but always had the dream of creating your own Game Boy game? If so, this is the series for you. We're going to go through just the basics of how to create a game, and there's nothing more satisfying than burning your own game onto a cartridge, plugging it into a Game Boy, turning it on and see the work you've done actually appear on the screen. This series we're just going to show you how to do that, and we're going to start off with a really simple example of Hello World. Let's get going. In this series, I'm going to show you how to develop your own Game Boy games using C and especially using the Game Boy Developer Kit. So I've been a software developer now for 20 years commercially, but I've never written in C before. And C is the language that we're going to use in this case to write some Game Boy games. So I've been writing C for a couple of months now, only to be able to write Game Boy games. Uh, and it's the first Game Boy game I've ever written a few months ago as well. So I am a beginner. Hopefully I can take you through the process I've been through recently and show you a few points along the way, but I'm not an experienced C developer. I'm sure I'll make some mistakes along the way that those of you who are uh, will kind of pick up on. But hopefully I can teach you something and show you something. So to get started, we need to download a few things. So the first thing you need to go and download is Visual Studio Code. So in these tutorials, I'm going to show you how to do this in Windows. Uh, I might be able to provide some help later on for those of you on Mac or Linux, but I'm mostly going to focus on Windows and you might need to go and have a look at some additional resources if you need help setting things up on other systems. So I recommend uh, Visual Studio Code, which is Microsoft's free, really lightweight code editor. So go and download and install that. And the other thing we really need to do to get started is a copy of the Game Boy Developer Kit, and the link for that is here. So what you need to do is download the Game Boy Developer Kit, uh, unzip it, take this folder GBDK, and I would recommend that you put that in the root of your C drive. So here you can see I've copied it here already. GBDK is the C library that's going to help you build your Game Boy applications that you can either run on the real hardware if you've got a flash card or ability to write it onto a cartridge, or with the emulators, which we'll probably mostly show you in this tutorial. So that's pretty much all you need to do to get that installed. Now we need to actually boot up Visual Studio Code and show you just the basics of a C program for Visual Studio. So if we go into here, what we need to do is open a folder. You can see it says open folder here. And we're just going to put all of our code. Um, doesn't matter really where you put your code, but I'm putting mine in my documents folder in a Game Boy Code folder. And I've just created our first piece of code, which is going to be hello world. So I've just created a little folder for that. So you just need to literally select the folder and click open. And at the moment, there's nothing in that folder. It's entirely empty. So if you've ever written any programming before, you know what hello world is. It's basically the first bit of code most people write in any language just to show the words hello world on the screen somehow. If you've never done any programming before, I really encourage you to go and find a book on C or just go and find some online resources. Learn the basics. Um, in this, I'm going to assume you have some kind of programming understanding. I'll try and talk it through, but you probably need to go and do a little bit pre-learning if you haven't done any programming before. If you've done lots before, but you've never done C, I'd also encourage you to go and read about C. Uh, if like me, you've done things like Java or .NET, then there are a lot of things in C that might catch you out where you have to do a lot more work than maybe you're used to doing. So what we're going to start off by is by creating our first C file. So if we go to here and click on a new file, we're going to call this main.c. So what we're going to start off by doing is something that's called including. In any programming language, you don't have to write everything from scratch and the same in C and in the Game Boy Developer Kit. There are a lot of files already provided by the Game Boy Developer Kit that will help you with the kind of standard features and functions of the Game Boy. And the way that you bring those in in C is to use this command called include. So if I click here, you do a hash, write the word include, and we want to include a Game Boy Developer Kit file, which is in the GB folder. It's called gb.h. So that's the first one we need. And then the other one we're going to need for this um, first demo is very similar, so I'm just going to copy and paste it. Um, but instead of GB, it's STDIO standard input output. So that's going to bring in two separate code files that we can call some, some code from. 
Uh, and all we need to do to get started is we need a, a main method. In the Game Boy Developer Kit and in many games, you need one kind of first method that it looks for to run, and so that's called main. So we're going to write this void main. This void means that this method, this function that we're writing, doesn't return any value at all. Uh, and then in C, we open up braces like this, so curly braces, and everything inside here is our main method. So that's where we're going to write our code. So now we've got our main method, we're going to actually write some code in here. And for this first example, we just want to write the words hello world out to the screen. We're going to use a built-in function from the STDIO library called printf. And printf expects uh, a string, and so text or a string we just write in double quotes. So we're going to write hello world. And then lines of code that do anything, so not our methods, they need a semicolon in the end, so you're just going to put one of those on the end. And so actually, that's all we need for our first program, but all we've got now is the code. We've got to figure out how to actually get that to display on the Game Boy and how to actually compile it. So compiling is where you take the code that is readable by humans, because we can just about understand this, and as you learn more C, you'll understand it more. And we're gonna turn it into binary code that processors can run, the Game Boy can run for us. So I'm gonna show you how to set that up. It's pretty straightforward. Again, this will be Windows specific, but you should be able to find out how to do it on other platforms. So to compile it, we're gonna create what's called a bat file. It's basically a Windows file for running commands. So we're going to click on this new file again, and we're going to create make.bat. And we need to put a few commands in here that basically tell Game Boy Developer Kit's compiler, which is in here, this libcc, tell it where to find the code that we've written and what we want it to compile it to. So that's what we're going to do. So inside this bat file, we're just going to paste two lines. I'm not going to go through too much detail of what exactly what each bit of them does, but I'll just talk it through. So if I paste them in to start with. So what this is, is two different lines that run two parts of the compiler. You can see here, the first bit is a path to the actual compiler itself. So where we unzipped our GBDK, so it's GBDK bin LCC. So that's the program it's gonna run, and it's gonna pass into it a few flags that tell the compiler to do different things. I won't go through what those are, to be honest. I don't even understand what all of them do. And then it's going to do a few things here. So it's going to tell it to compile our main.c, this one we wrote here, into main.o. And then the second part is going to compile main.o into the .gb file. And that's effectively our program ready for the Game Boy that we can either use in an emulator or we can actually flash to the real Game Boy. So again, don't worry too much about what those actually do, uh, but that's the kind of our file ready to go. So now we've got our program We've got our make file, we just need to run this make file and it'll actually compile our .gb file that we need for our emulator. So if you go in Visual Studio here to the view terminal, it will bring up basically a, a command prompt here. So all you need to do to run the make file is do dot slash, which basically says start from this directory, make dot bat, and then just hit enter. You see it runs our, run our two lines, no errors came up, and you'll actually see here a new file has been created, main.gb. So if I just flip over to that in our folder here, you can see main.gb, and that is effectively a Game Boy game ready to go. So we need to actually test that out, make sure it works. So if you go and download the Game Boy emulator, I would recommend BGB. And if you just open up BGB, and you can either do file open, or I just find it quicker just to drag it in. And there you go, it's now saying hello world on the screen there. So that's a really fast, really quick intro to getting set up and running on a very, very basic application. I don't really expect you to understand everything you've done there, but go and try it out for yourself. And please come back for the next tutorial where we'll show you a little bit more and start to get into a bit more detail on how to write your Game Boy game. That's all for now, thanks.